Now continuing along the same lines as channels, uh, we're going to go into an eye color change. Now, I want you to take the big eye uh, image and drag that onto Photoshop. And that should open up. And now we've got a big eye. And it's in black and white, as you can see. Um, we're going to maximize the image gain of Command-0, make it large. And this is where we're going to use some of those selection techniques that you know. Okay, so again, we're going to use the elliptical marquee tool. And hold down the shift key. And if you drag out the circle, like this, and then hold down the space bar just in case you need to move it right into place. And then once it's perfectly in place, don't worry about it going over the eyelashes or anything like that. And then let go once it's perfectly in place. And then hold down the Option key, and then drag out again a circle over top of the pupil. And do as close a job as you can there. Now, to get rid of this part here, we're going to use the Lasso tool. Okay. And again, you hold down the Option key to minus to subtract a selection, and we're just going to scoot along the edge here. Don't worry about the hairs for now. And scoot back on the outside. And then the same thing here. We're going to get rid of this. And not a very good job there. We'll fix that up a touch. We'll scoot up this way and maybe a little bit more. There you go, that should be good enough for now. Now, what's going to happen if I change the color of the eye right now, and all we're doing is catching the iris here. If we do that, there'll be a very harsh color change here uh, along the edge. To prevent the harsh color change and have sort of a faded effect, like a gradient, what we're going to do is we're going to go to Select, Modify, and Feather. And feathering, what that'll do is make it a very soft edge. I'm going to feather it 5 pixels and just click OK. Now what I can do is I can go to the channels, and then I can choose what color I want this eye to be. And I'm going to make this eye a bit greener. So in this one, in green, what I want to do on the green channel is make this channel lighter. So the way I can do that is to go to Image, Adjustments, Brightness and Contrast, and then all I do is lighten that. So I lighten it, you know, a decent amount. And I'm going to increase the contrast just so I get more of the dark show on here. And I'll click OK. And then on the red channel, I'm going to reduce the brightness. Take some of that red out there and make it fairly dark because I don't really want any of the red showing. And But I will increase the contrast though. And just to bring out the darks again. And the same thing on the blue channel. Now the blue channel is already dark, but I am going to reduce it just a slight bit. And again, increase the contrast to bring out some of the darks. Then click OK. Now I'm just going to deselect. Okay. And then we'll go back to the RGB channel. Now you can see how we have a really nice soft edge here. See how it fades into the white? Much more natural. The only thing you might want to fix in the future though is you actually might want to select out these hairs that are in here. But now our black and white photograph, or our sepia photograph, now looks like it's actually color. <laughs> anyway, uh, give it a try yourself.